So we're starting. <laughs> Painting this toucan was actually super fun but also super challenging because we already know that he has a lot of different colors going on on his beak, on his face, all the way up to his tail and feet. I decided to go a little more vibrant but I did tone it down with some whites as the highlights. So everything has two layers. There is a base layer of um, of the main color so for example I put a base in blue and I mix my brush with a little bit of black having the brushes a little bit dry and not over mixing the paint creates this effect that naturally just gives some texture so you're not trying so hard to create that feathered effect I'm gonna start walking away Ooh, I hope I don't drip I've sketched out my tree trunk around the toucan and I've just put a little bit of detail so that I don't paint over what I want to be white flowers. So I'm gonna start already with the tree trunk and then maybe we can start detailing later. not sure if I should have painted the bark first then added the details or done the details first um, just gonna see if I can make the leaves stand out a little bit more I'm sure I'm sure I can do it so I don't know how common it is to be standing on a ladder but grip socks with a little sticky at the bottom, which I use for my other job. Actually make it so much easier and so much more comfortable to stand on it. came out and we have the vine already coming down all the way to the trunk I saw other artists use selfie sticks as they were painting on walls okay come up with me The base of this flower is kind of lilac. From afar, it looks a little more blue. Um, the base of the flower also mixed with some light blue, so hopefully it comes out kind of like a nice, soft blue pea. side of the wall. I'm pretty happy with it. I made a new friend, literally. His name is George the Toucan. And the reason why he's named so is because of the Formula One driver, George Russell. And we're gonna get started on that side. 